Hey, hey, hookers. Welcome back to Inspired by a Smile. My name is Christy and I'm a freehand crochet artist. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make a spooky pair of earrings dangling eyeballs for Halloween. Um, so if you have some embroidery thread and your hook, let's get started. All right, so I'm using a two millimeter. I'm going to start with the eyeball itself. Here's the one earring. It's awesome. It's really nice uh, and cozy actually to wear them. They're not overly heavy. It's a nice thing about crochet earrings. So you want to start with a chain of four. and you're going to join it at the end and that'll be your magic circle and then you want to do nine half double crochet into the circle after that but first do a chain the chain does not count as a half double crochet <clears throat> so you're going to do nine half double crochet into the circle after you do the chain while you're doing that, I'd like to thank everybody for subscribing to my channel so far. I really do appreciate it and for watching my videos. And if you haven't already, um, please do check out my Patron. It's to help my family. Um, every bit of money counts. It's only $3 a month. It's to tip the artist and you get a free baby octopus when you sign up. Um, I'd like to thank my Patron that I do have so far. Um, I appreciate that you're still with me as well. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please make sure that you do because um, you can turn on the notifications so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And we're at 13, just we're over 1300 subscribers now, so we're soon going to have another gi a giveaway. Pretty excited about that. That'll be at 1500. So again, we're doing nine half double crochet into the circle. And crochet over the little piece of yarn, I forgot to mention that. I always crochet over it so that I can pull it tight at the end. Alright, so there we go. I'm pulling that tight to close in the circle. And I've got nine half double crochet in there. Now I'm going to go on the top of this first stitch. And I'm going to do two um, half double crochet in the same stitch. And you want to do that all the way around for, th for this row. First though, I'm going to put a stitch marker after I do this one. If you need to move your stitch marker at the beginning of each row, please do. But if uh, not, if you're like me and just need it there as a guide, you can leave it here. So again, you're going to do two half double crochet in the same stitch all the way around for this row.
Awesome, so that'll be the last stitch for that row. And now you're gonna do one half double crochet in each stitch. And you wanna do that for the next three rows. I won't do too much talking here either, so just um, when I do start talking again, it'll be on our first decrease row. So, like I said, you want to do one half double crochet in each stitch, and you want to do that for three rows total, including this one.
All right, so just getting ready to decrease here. I'm going to just skip a stitch to decrease for this. It's since it's white yarn and you're going to use it doesn't really show um, like the stuffing or anything or any holes. It's not that it's uh, pretty good because uh, the holes are small. So at the beginning of this row, you want to skip a stitch. And then you're going to do five uh, stitches in a row. So you want to do one half double crochet in each stitch for five stitches before you decrease again. So you're going to decrease every five until you're at the beginning of this row. So there's another decrease. And one, two, three, untangle the string. <laughs> I usually don't have that much issue with this stuff and for some reason it's acting up throughout my tutorial today. After this row there's only one more row of white left to do. Alright, so we're basically at the beginning here. So after you skip this stitch, I'm pretty sure that was the last time you do five. I'm going to make sure though, you should only be doing three in a row now instead of five, but I'll make sure right now. So that's one, two, three. Okay, yes, so every three stitches now, you're gonna skip a stitch. And that's still half double crochet all the way around. So three stitches in a row of half double crochet before you decrease. pretty excited to get these out. I was advertising them a bit last night and people seem to really enjoy them just by seeing them. Uh, so they are pretty exciting and unique. I'm going to be making more too, not of eyeballs, but I'll be making some more Halloween themed earrings since uh, earrings and embroidery thread seem to be very popular right now, especially amongst us ADHDers. <laughs> They're fun, quick projects, good for the dopamine rush. Alright, so I'm at the beginning of the row now, or end of the row, I guess you could say. So skip a stitch over, and you just want to actually do a slip stitch, and you can tie that off and leave uh, the end. And that's how you win at Yarn Chicken onto the pupil. It's 
So I'm going to start with the center of the eyeball. So do a chain of four again and then join at the end to do a magic circle. And then once you do that uh, first chain, you want to do five half double crochet into the circle all together and crochet over the little piece of yarn so that you can pull it tight at the end. Again, that's five half double crochet into the circle, not including the little chain at the beginning. Alright, so you can pull that tight. You're going to go on the top of the stitch and you can just do a slip stitch to fasten off. Leave it long, leave a long enough tail so you can sew it to the uh, to the colored part of your eye. Alright, so I'm going to be making mine green, so I've got that ready to go. So I do a chain of four. Join it at the end with a slip stitch and then do a chain and then you want to do eight half double crochet into the circle. Again crochet over the little piece of yarn so you can close the circle tight and you want to do eight half double crochet in total into the circle. Awesome, so I'm just going to pull that. And one last pull before finishing it. Alright, so we're on to the 
there's only one more row on the colored part of the eye. Um, so you want in the top of the stitch, you want to do two half double crochet in the same stitch. And if you want, um, put a stitch marker here. Sometimes I really don't. I just decided to so I could just go and know that uh, that's the beginning. So the two are in the first one. The next one you're going to do one half double crochet. So you want to do two, one, and then two all the way around. Alright, so we're at the beginning. Looking good. So I'm just going to skip a stitch and do a slip stitch. Leave a long enough tail to sew it to the eyeball. Alright, so I'm just going to remove my stitch marker and now I'm just going to sew the little black piece to the uh, eyeball to the green part here. You could just crochet the green around the eye part if you'd really want to, but I like detail. I'm very picky on detail. <laughs> so that's why I did it this way. So I'm just going to line it up in the middle and because we're sewing this onto the eyeball, you, um, you can just go in and out through the back, uh, back of the green part, go, s go close enough and just uh, go all the way around with the needle.
make sure you pull it down tight enough too and if you have to um, go around again you can make it so it's nice and uh, flat and even looking and if you if you need it to be perfect it does make it look better too I find if you go over it at least once because if you don't it's kind of it pops up a bit more than I'd like Awesome. So once you're done and satisfied with your sewing job, you can flip it over and just go through the back of the stitch underneath and uh, before you snip with the scissors. And I just, uh, I added white specks to these, so that's what I'm going to do next. You just need a tiny piece of white. So I am going to, uh, after figuring out where I'm putting it, I am knotting it at the end. So right through the back, um, and then you can go right through the front. And I'm going to just do that one more time so that you can see it right through the same holes as well. Makes it a bit more noticeable. Awesome. So yeah, you can just flip that over and fasten off behind. Make sure it's secure and then snip. Alright, so now I'm going to remove the stitch marker from the eyeball and you're going to want to cut yourself a long enough piece of thread because depending on how many veins you want on the eyeball, you're going to want it to be detailed enough. So cut, don't be shy, cut a long enough piece of your thread and then you can, uh, I won't do too much talking through this part but I am going to make sure I leave the video of it because you may want an idea of how I placed the veins um, and see how I did it. So I wanted, I didn't want to cut any of that part out. So 
So just knot that, make sure it's knotted good enough. This is probably one of the longest processes of this earring. Oh, it's because I have to sew some veins on it. But it makes it look really good after too. Alright, so you can start um, wherever you'd like. Just uh, pick a spot. And I'm going to go through the front. So it's pretty basic. You're just going to go around the eyeball very carefully and you're going to go in and out with some uh, slanted lines and make some veins. And I just went all the way around until I came back to my first vein. And then fastened off inside. So and then also did one at the back but you'll see that as well when I'm done this part um, so again yeah I won't do too much talking here guys if you feel like you can do this without watching then you can always skip ahead but if you actually want to see like how I went around the eyeball and did this part then make sure to watch it I won't I'm not gonna cut it out just because I know some people need to see the entire thing Okay, so I'll be right back, guys. Awesome job so far.
All right, so there we have it. The veins all the way around, including the back of the eyeball. You don't want it to be bare at the back because, you know, you could still see the back of the eyeball too. So you can go inside and uh, just fasten off on the inside of a stitch before you snip. All right, so now I'm just gonna actually put the red, you gotta, I'm making the dangly part of the eyeball there. So I'm gonna put the thread through the earring uh, hole. It's small enough to just go through. You can use your sewing needle if you want to. You can even use uh, little pliers to open that up, but the thread's small enough to go through on its own. And you just want to thread it through a bit and then you want to uh, crochet a chain through there so once you get it um, once your hole it is a bit awkward <laughs> at first once you get the first chain on there it's a lot easier but you want to do a chain of 10 in total so you want to hold the little piece of yarn so that uh, you can get your first chain on there just like that and you can hold the fish hook and like I said you want to do 10 in total don't worry about that little piece I'm gonna show you what to do with that when we're done if you want them longer go for it but a chain of 10 makes it a nice length you could even go shorter if you'd like definitely all up to you and what you need there we go awesome So I'm gonna just get rid of that little piece of yarn here. I'm gonna use the green to sew the eye the other part on so this part can go. So you can just go on the inside of the eyeball, on the inside of the stitches, and just uh, sew the sew it in a bit so that it's gone and more secure. Now you can either put the uh, you can either put the dangly part 
on the eyeball now or wait till it's stuffed. I ended up waiting till mine was stuffed, so. But you can sew through now and not knot it if you want. But you can also just do as I did and you'll see what I did. I just thought I'd mention that beforehand. <laughs> before it's stuffed. All right, so I am gonna make sure it's stuffed enough to so it has the form of a circ that round, nice round circular eyeball. All right, so you can make sure it's uh, nice and firm, but you can always stuff more as you go, so don't overstuff it. So just hold that over the hole. <clears throat> it's small enough where you don't have to actually put pins, but if you wanted to, you could. So I'm just going to go in right close enough to the uh, eyeball, well, the colored part of the eyeball. And you want to go in and out and just be careful of where you're placing the needle when you go through the white. Um, you want to go through the just the top of your stitch there closer to the colored part so that you don't see the color on your eyeball. So yeah, go right close to each other uh, with the needle. You want it as close as possible for each stitch. And carefully go around and again if you need to go around again, do so with the with this part as well.
All right, so now if you're satisfied with how your eyeballs look in, you can pull the yarn right underneath it, pull it tight enough, and then snip it, and it'll uh, you can hide it with uh, underneath after. If you have to, just use your needle to tuck in the little the little piece. All right, so. I'm just going to sew this uh, at the top and we're almost done. It shouldn't be too much longer and I'll have another pair of uh, Halloween earrings out, like I said, um, hoping to get some killer themed ones out. Um, so if you haven't make sure you are subscribed and have your notifications on so that you don't miss it when I post it or any other videos that I post so I'm gonna go in by a vein so that it's uh, not overly no so it kind of blends I'm just deciding where I want to put it <laughs> Also make sure your hook is facing the right way for the earring so your eyeball is facing forward. Unless you want them backwards, that's up to you. So you can go around that little vein. With the needle a couple times. Make sure it's nice and tight. When you're done, you can just go right into the eyeball. Hold it tight enough and snip. Awesome. So you can poke that in, it's not very noticeable at all. So now, um, just making sure it's actually facing the right way because that's, you don't, you just don't want your earrings backwards. <laughs> so this is going to go right into the chain. So I'm just going to go in the first few chains here just so it's a bit more secure when I go to snip it. All right, so there we go. And just pull it straight. You can't even really notice it either. It blends right in. And just snip that. And there we go. We have two eyeballs. Oh, 
awesome job guys and again thank you so much for watching and for being a part of my journey on YouTube I appreciate it there's a lot more to come awesome job yay